Yeah, hi guys, this is Manas here. Actually, so, uh, I will be demonstrating the data import tool. So previously, data import tool is, uh, am I audible? Um, am I audible? Okay. Uh, so previously, data import tool is a base. So we have changed the data import to a doc type. So now you can import as many as data as you want to. So for that, uh, let me quickly start. Okay. So just create a new doc type and change the doc type which you want to import. For example, if you want to just import the item, just select on the items. Uh, now selecting the item, uh, first you have to Okay, so, so first you have to download the template of, of a particular doc type. So for downloading the template, so if you want to download all the columns, so just select the columns and uh, these fields are uh, same as in the previous data import tool. But if you want to select the fields manually, you can just click on the manual and select all the fields which you want to uh, import using the data import. So for example, if you want, all the data import with the data. So just click on this and download it. So the templated file will be done downloaded along with the data. So for example, say this one. So this will contain, it is uh, the format is same as the previous data import tool. So for example, let's say actually I have created already a, a template file. So, um, Okay, so I have added few uh, additional items and uh, we will just test. Uh, uh, this is my older item icon. So if uh, the it's, its item name is this one. So if I just want to change the item name, uh, let's say if I just want to change its item as Apple iPhone X and I save it. So, if we import this using the data import tool, attach the file here. This is the this is our file. Uploading. After uploading, there are few fields like update records. If you want to update the previous record, just check this field. So um, sometimes what happens is if you are updating the record, this field uh, is very mandatory name or ID. So you have to specifically add the name. So if you are updating the, um, any previous records and uh, if this field is not uh, given in the template, so what it does, it creates a new item. So for example, if you are, uh, if, if you are only updating the older fields and you don't want to create any new record, so you can also click on this one. But since uh, we are updating the older records and we are also creating some uh, uh, more records, so I will not update it. Okay, so now uh, uh, one more issue is updating the images of your item. So uh, I have also added the path of few item images. So we just check whether that's updated in the item. So this is our update records, uh, final item. So we have attached the file, so we will start it. Okay, so that's So this is successful, okay. Uh, now after there is one import low and if you want to show errors, uh, just click on this because uh, in this data uh, in this data import tool you can uh, have as uh, number of record as many number of record as you want to import. So there is uh, as like previously there are five and uh, five hundred rows you can insert in a single data import. So there is no limits here. You can add as many as records in a single file. So this is updated. Okay, so let's check this. Uh, reload this. Okay, so here it comes. Apple iPhone X. So let's, let's check the images of all previous fields. This is Amazon Kindle. So here is uh, the item is patch. And uh, okay, so this is uh, one feature. Another feature is, uh, let's say, uh, we are importing some sales order. Okay. Download template all.
Okay, so I think I just forgot to add the data here. So let's close this. Okay, let me download quickly the sales order. All first checking whether whether there is any sales order in my site. Uh, okay, there isn't any sales order. Um, okay, then select the customers. So if you select the customer, okay. Mm, there, this is uh, already downloaded template of customer. So if you just import it and all the process will be same. Actually, I'm just trying to, okay, sales order. Let's try purchase order. If there is some data. Okay, great. So in purchase order, there are some data. So this is uh, purchase order download template with all the columns and along with the data okay. save it now let's say we want to change a uh, few things what we can change is okay so customer email address Let's say we want to change this one. Okay. So we will save it and just import it. Uh, so all these records are previously created, but I'm not checking the update record because uh, uh, if I don't check the update record, the error will come. Uh, since uh, um, ID is provided in our template, so let me show you. Uh, okay, this is our uh, purchase order. Uh, so in the purchase order, ID is given in all the rows. So if I'm just trying to add a uh, uh, um, new purchase order with the same data, so error will come. So I just want to show you uh, this feature, skip rows with errors. So if you just select on uh, skip rows with the so what it will do is uh, um, it will, it will um, commit all the data. Uh, whatever, if uh, suppose you are importing the 10,000 rows and there are four or five rows in which there are some errors. So previously what happens is uh, all the data will be rolled back and nothing will be saved. So if you uh, click on this skip rows with error, error so what it will do is it will um, just save all the data and the, uh, the rows in which there are some errors, it, it, it will just create a, another template file along with the error, error data. So let's say, okay, skip rows with data. So just start import. So, okay, so here it comes. This is partially successful. So if we just check on the rows, so duplicate name purchase order. Yes, of course it, it should be there. So uh, due to the duplicate name, the error is coming. So we can just, uh, a, another file is generated, uh, which will contain the error data. Um, templated error data. So you can just uh, download this file and change change this file and import it in another data import. So um, this is the current functionality. So 